yan na yung sweldo mo talaga, minus tax, is 1,436,058 pesos. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Yayang Veloso, a Filipino registered nurse working and living in New Zealand. So, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay sweldo po ng caregivers dito sa New Zealand. Meron ding mga kakilala ko at saka yung subscribers ko sa YouTube na nagre-request ng content na ito. So, yun po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon, guys. <laughs> And bago po ako dumango o tumungo sa usapin na yan, I, I would like to mention bakit hindi ako nakakapag-upload regularly sa aking YouTube channel. So una po, since po nang dumating ako sa, sa Wellington, tapos nakapag-start ng magtrabaho sa ano na yan, sa facility, grabe, sobrang busy. Yung first three weeks ko ata, parang ano yun, first three weeks parang isang day off lang. Oo, tapos after three weeks, two days off. So sabi ko, instead na mag-vlog ako, kasi ako pa yung nag-film eh, tapos ako pa yung nag edit So instead na mag-vlog mag ako, inano ko na lang, nag-relax lang ako. Nag-hiking, nag-jogging, gym, tapos nag-party. If you're my friends on my social media, you probably saw my post, my story na sumasayaw. <laughs> Kasi ano lang eh, um, yun yung makapag-relax ako ba? So yun, and then second reason bakit hindi ako nakapag-upload regularly is yun nga, ako yung nag-film tapos ako yung nag -e edit Sa editing, if if you're a vlogger or if you are, if, if you've done editing video clips before, yun yung sobrang mahirap, yun talaga yung sobrang mahirap yung mag-edit. And ako, Meron na kung pagkausi ba yung obsessive compulsive sa ano sa editing. Gusto ko yung music, yung transition, yung basa yung meron akong pagkausi so you know tinitin ko pa lang na mag-edit na nasi-stress na ako. So then sinabi nung kaibigan ko na vlogger din, nagtanong siya, bakit hindi ka nag-upload ng video regularly? Eh, meron ka ng 1,500 subscribers. So sabi ko ay, na ano talaga ako, busy sa work, tapos yung editing din, doon ako nasi-stress. So sabi niya, ano lang, mag-upload ano ka, mag ka lang ng video, yung raw, lagyan mo lang ng music, kunting transition. Tapos sabi din niya, na-appreciate din niya yung, yung editing ko. So, yun, raw. <laughs> Kaya yan pa yung mga, mga nilabhan ko. Uh, bago ko yung pilo kanina. Going back no, to the main topic for this vlog, is yung sweldo ng caregivers dito sa New Zealand. And yung caregivers na pag-uusapan natin is yung caregivers na nagtatrabaho sa rest home. Okay, so yung rest home is, paano ba? Home for the aged. No, home for the aged dyan sa Pilipinas. And at, at, as what you've noticed guys, I am speaking in Tagalog. Kasi I wanted to speak in Bisaya, pero meron akong Tagalog viewers. And hindi ako marunong mag-subtitle ba? Yung, oo, parang it, it will take me siguro 3 days to, to put subtitles or even more than 3 days. Anyway, going back, sweldo ng caregivers. Um, so, dito sa New Zealand, maraming facilities, no maraming rest home facilities na pwede kang magtrabaho as a caregiver. So, yung facility na... Gagawin kong example kung magkano yung pinapasahod nila sa mga caregivers is yung Somerset. So Somerset, isa ito sa pinakamalaking facilities dito sa New Zealand. As a matter of fact, merong Ryman, merong ito Somerset, meron ding uh, Bupa, marami. So yung pag-uusapan natin is yung example natin is sa Somerset kasi dyan ako nagtrabaho dati at ngayon na nagtatrabaho ako as, as an agency registered nurse, dito ako na-assign sa Somerset. So, ito na guys. We will be talking about numbers, figures, no, mga salary figures. Kasi yung ginawa ko, bumili ako ng whiteboard. Tapos, sinulat ko dun yung salary levels ng Somerset. Okay? And you can find this information on NZNO website. I'll put that on the description below. Nandun po yung collective agreement ng Somerset at ng other 
facilities po. Tapos nandun yung mga sweldo ng caregivers, ng mga nurses, ng chef. Ito po yung pinripe ko. Taranang! <laughs> Uy! Klaro yung ring light, ha? <laughs> Klaro ba? Okay. Let's do this one, guys. Paano ba? Kita ba? Ayun. Okay. Uh, so, hindi ba siya nag-mirror? Parang, so, caregiver salary as of, ano to? July 3, 2023. Kasi ganun kasi yung format ng New Zealand eh. Day, month, and then year. Okay, so napansin nyo, meron siyang level uh, 0, level 2, 3, and 4. So yung level, so yung level 0, ano ba tong ring light na to? Paano ba ito siya maula? Gan, ganyan na lang. Klaro ba? Okay naman no? Kahit may ring light. Okay. So yung level 0 is $23.84. Yung level 2 is $25.50. Level 3, $27.73. Level 4, $29.95. So, let's say for example, level 4 ka na caregivers. And pag-uusapan natin how you become level 4. Okay, just basic. So, ito na nga guys. So, kung level 4 ka, you work 5 days a week. O, oh, full time ka. 5 days a week. So, 5 days a week ka nag-work tapos 8 hours a day 8 hours a day ka so 8 times 5 40 hours a week so that's 80 hours per 14 days kaya diba 7 days a week man so kung kung 2 weeks the 80 hours 14 days okay so yung 14 days dito tinatawag namin na fortnight is sa Pilipinas diba quincenas quince katapusan pero dito 14 days every 14 days yung sweldo mo so yung sweldo dito usually sa pagkakaalam ko every other Wednesday meaning Wednesday ngayon yung next na sweldo is sa susunod sa susunod uh, yung sweldo mo ngayon Wednesday the, the next sweldo is next next Wednesday oo so yun yun uh, 14 days ka nagtatrabaho so that's 80 hours no 80 hours times, di ba? Level 4 ka. Level 4. So, $29.95 times 80 hours. Kasi yun yung sweldo dito eh, per hour. So, yun yung sweldo mo. 80 times 29.95. So, yan yung susweldohin mo in 14 days. 2,396. Pero ano yan siya? Uh, gross pa yan siya. So, kung kukuna na yan yung, ng tax, ano na yan? 2,000 396 times 0.70 kasi yung 0.70 sa'yo kasi yung 30% mapupunta sa government kasi yun yung tax pero yan lang yung ideal um, tax percentage na nilagay ko 30% pero I think bababa pa yan kasi nung sumweldo ako ng mga ganitong um, amount nung nagsastart pa ako as a nurse yung sweldo ko was 2,800, yun yung gross income ko. Yung tax ko that time, I think was only around 24%. Pero ito yung ideal ha, 30%. You can check the taxes on the IRD website. I will put that on the description box below as well. It is same with uh, BIR sa Philippines. Bureau of Inland Revenue. So let's say kinuna na siya ng tax which is 30%, no? So yan yung remaining amount which is $1,677.20. So pag i-convert natin siya into Philippine pesos, ang net income mo is 55,233 pesos and 32 cents. So, yan yung sweldo mo every 14 days or every fortnight. Alright guys, I am just switching from my DSLR to my iPhone. Kasi sabi nung screen ng camera, memory full na daw. Inag-delete ako ng mga videos. Tinransfer ko sa laptop. Memory full pa rin. Itong mga, itong mga technology. Ito talaga yung sagabal. These technologies are the hindrance to success. Let's continue the tutorials. Okay guys, so yun na. 
Now, in a year, so, i-multiply mo lang yung 55,233 pesos and 20 cents by 26 kasi merong 26 14 days. Alright? Or 26 fortnights in one year. So, ang sasahorin mo in a year, net income ha, yan na yung sweldo mo talaga minus tax is 1,436,058 pesos. Alright guys, so yun yung magiging sahod mo as a caregiver dito sa New Zealand. And I repeat, that's 1,436,058 pesos in a year. And hindi pa kasali yan yung mga overtime mo. Yung mga kakilala ko ditong caregivers na mga Pinay, grabe. Grabe sila mag-overtime. It's almost like twice a week nagdo double shift nagsi 16 hours a day hindi ko pa na mention yung mga penal rates ano ba yung mga penal rates like for example if you work on weekends no saturday sunday kapag magwo-work ka nun, yung sweldo mo is may extra 40% ha? for example yung yung hourly rate mo is let's make it simple let's say 10 dollars lang ha 10 dollars just for easy easy calculation so, yung sweldo mo, if you work on weekends, instead of $10, kasi meron kang extra 40%, $14 per hour yung susweldohin mo kung magtatrabaho ka ng weekends. Kaya nga, dati nung magtatrabaho ako sa isang permanent facility, I worked on weekends kasi merong extra. And guys, paano ka ba maging caregiver dito sa New Zealand? Alam mo, maraming akong kakilala sa Pilipinas na gustong pumunta dito at magtrabaho ng caregivers. Pero, ito yung, ito yung nakuha kong sagot no? sa mga tinanong ko at sa mga research na ginawa ko. Kung nurse ka sa Pilipinas, malaki yung chance na ida-direct hire ka ng ibang facilities. Meron akong na ano, ano ba itong Tagalog eh? Meron akong na experience, na first hand talaga na experience ko na fas merong facility na nag-direct hire ng registered nurse sa Philippines. And then itong registered nurse na to, automatic to level 4 na caregiver if you are a registered nurse in the Philippines. The other way na maging caregiver ka dito is just last week, I spoke with one of the caregivers in this facility that I am working with right now. New Zealand is nag-direct hire na din ng mga caregivers na may caregiver qualification sa ibang bansa. And I am not familiar, sorry guys, I am not familiar what are these caregiver qualification. The third way that you become a caregiver here is if you are here in New Zealand. Yung caregiver dito sa New Zealand, walang, pwede ka mag-apply kahit na wala kang natapos na caregiver or even medical medical course. Okay? Pwede kang mag-caregiver kahit yung experience mo sa farming. Pwede kang mag-caregiver kahit yung experience mo is a cashier. As long as you'll be able to pass the interview and meron ka din kakilala sa ano, na mag, mag-re-recommend sa'yo. Yun nga lang, dapat nandito ka sa New Zealand and you are you are a resident. Oo. Kasi, hindi sila nagda-direct hire ng kahit sino lang overseas. Like for example, kung meron akong kapatid dun, na ano siya, let's say business yung field niya, hindi ko siya pwedeng, hindi siya pwedeng ma-direct hire kasi wala siyang qualification. Mag-aano si New Zealand eh, si New Zealand Immigration. Bakit ito nag-hire ng nasa ibang bansa? Eh marami naman tayong mga residente dito. Marami naman tayong mga citizen dito kasi nga walang qualification. Anyone can become a caregiver. So that's why pinaprioritize nila yung nandito. Compared sa mga nurses, very, ano kami, very privileged and I am very grateful with this profession kasi pinaprioritize kasi nga, need na qualification. Hindi naman lahat ng tao na nakatira dito ay eh, merong nurse certificate. Diba? So that's why it's really different if you are a registered nurse and registered nurses are very in demand here in New Zealand. So yun guys, I hope you you found value in this vlog. If you do, please hit like and please comment and share this to 
to your friends, your family that may you know may be interested in coming here in New Zealand. And you know, guys, uh, if you have questions or if you want to add something to this vlog, please comment that down below. And if you have questions, if you want to me to do more vlogs like this, please comment down below as well. And don't forget to thank you and stay young. Bye, guys. See you in my next vlog. We're gonna talk about registered nurses' salary, man. Okay, so bye. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away